This video is intended for adult collectors only. Hola a todos, it's Nadi. Welcome back to the last video for the LOL OMG Fierce line. We already unboxed Royal B swag and Neon Licious. The last one we have left is none other than the beautiful Lady Diva right here. This video we're gonna go ahead and review, unbox Lady Diva. Then I'll just give my final opinions on the whole, all the, the doll line in general. So yeah, let's get into it, let's go. All right, sorry for the glare again. And also apologies if my regular dolls are all ugly and crusty. I just did recently unbox them and haven't cleaned them, so mm. And as you noticed, I found her little top. I'm sorry, I found her little top. It was hidden in a different, in like a hat. I knew I had it, bitch. I knew I didn't fucking lose this shit and look at it. Anyways, stop getting distracted here. Here she is in the original first LOL OMG series. And then next to her, we have the beautiful unboxed or inbox fierce doll. All right, here she is. Hers is like nice. She has some holographic uh, leopard print and here is her box art on the side. Damn. She looks so fucking beautiful. Look at this. Here it says Lady Diva has a little heart right here. Then in the back, we have her full art. Her box art right here. So beautiful. She looks. Look at these curls. Do you see these curls? I'm sorry. Do you see these curls? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. She's just holographic as fuck. Same thing, and then this is the back, the, the the pattern in the back, but the front of the box is like a holographic silver, unlike the other ones that were gold. So, yeah, she looks cute as fuck. Let's go ahead and get her unboxed, shall we? All right, here she is oh, displayed in all her glory. She is a little stained right here. I don't know if you can tell. You'll When we look a little bit close up, you'll be able to see just some dry spots on her face. But the first thing that I noticed off the bat, obviously she's very different in general, but the first thing I noticed was their stands. She came with like a white stand while hers is a black stand. I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove some of the, like the dirt that's on her face before we take a closer look at it. Taking a look at her face, a closer look at her face, I tried taking off as much as I could, but here in this little, she has like a little dry spot. I can't really clean it. I tried y'all, my bad. This is her face. Her face is so cute. She looks so cute. And let's compare it to the LOL OMG. Sorry again, she's a little dirty, y'all, I'm sorry. But that is Lady Divas. I did destroy her little poof. I kind of regret it, but not really. Not really. Just for this purpose, I do, but in general, I really don't. So she comes with like a similar um, kind of theme with her eyes, same as her original. She comes with pink eyeshadow, but this one, as you can see here, it's more of an ombre with purple to pink, um, and then a nice thick l purple liner over her shadow. She has similar blue eyes, but then the same thing as the other dolls, there is more than just one color, and she has the same color lips, like is exactly the same, but of course this doll, this mold has an open lip, and she still has her beauty mark. Um, the eyebrows for this doll are the same as all the other ones, where we have a little bit of definition over here, and they're more long and arched instead of straight out like the original ones. One difference is that she does have baby hair. I don't know if she has it on the other side. Nope. She does not. It looks like she just has baby hair on this side here, which is totally okay. Yeah, there's not much difference with her eyebrows her face it's just the same um theme that we got going with the other one but it's beautiful i love the ombre the purple the pink and i love how well it goes with her blue eyes her catch lights i do wish they had more just like neon licious because i feel like she would have at least more right but unfortunately she doesn't zooming out a little bit we're gonna look at her hairstyle 
So originally Lady Diva for the OMG line, she had like curly bangs and then a high ponytail. But this one here, she has some bangs swooped to the side and it's kind of collected here in some rubber bands. And then going to the back of her hair, we see four pigtails. Some people were like, oh, she should have just had two. I think this is cute. It kind of helps give volume to the front. Like it makes it look fuller because if we had it done just right here, it would have been like that, but I like it lower in the back to make her hair look fuller. At least in my opinion, that's how it looks like to me. And again, we have like the pigtails, not just with a regular rubber band, but we have the hair wrapped to make it look clean. She has these really nice curls. They are not hard at all. The bottom is very frizzy. I want to clean them up, but these are really nice tight curls. I love them a lot. Looking at the side here, she comes with her snake earrings, but her snake earring this time it's a little bit different. In the previous one here, she just had some attached to the ear, but this one kind of looks like it's the head, the head of the snake is coming through her ear, which is kind of cool. And the, the, the snake has a little bit more swirls on the earring, so I actually love that quite a lot. Okay, moving her little pigtail. This is the other side. So the first OMG doll, she came with two earrings and a headset, but it looks like this one here is, uh, the headset is being replaced by that earring just so she has one coming up like this instead of the one that goes all around her head. Yeah, there's nothing really bad to say about her face. Her face is very clean. It's very beautiful. It's very, yeah, it, it's the same theme as her OMG doll but the hair is really nice. I like it. There's nothing too much to say about it other than I really, really love it. I love how clean it is. One thing I'm quickly gonna say though is that these stands, girl, some of them are good, some of them are not. Let me just get that out the way. Bringing the fierce doll a little bit more forward, looking at the pieces on the bottom or her outfit. Let's go ahead and take a quick look just from what we can see before removing all of them and taking a closer look at each piece. We obviously see this big like furry scarf, the original one, it was more of a fur fluffy coat while this here just looks like a scarf and I think it's really cute. It does make her look a little bulky like if I, if I go like this she does definitely look a little bit more bulky but that's totally totally fine. On the side here on one of her sleeves we see some cheetah print or some leopard print which I think is really cool but here this shirt is uh, more of a reptile or a crocodile skin or snake skin kind of pattern so I'm thinking these are two different pieces. And then we have this really nice chunky statement necklace. Um, it looks like it's just covering the main area and I can see a little bit of that leopard print shirt in the back. That's why I'm assuming this is like an under piece. Um, and I don't really see it on this side, but there's like some netting on this side here on this on this side. So I'm, I'm guessing this side is leopard and then this side is just a mesh, which I, I kind of like. I always liked her, her fashion, even in the original one, because it's just so many, it's just so much mix and match pattern. So I think that's cool. Going down, we definitely see some a harness here. This harness is sick as fuck. I love how how detailed it is. Right underneath, we see a nice leopard skirt in black with some details on the, uh, on the front here. We'll take a closer look a little bit later. And then we see um, a pink purse with the same pink kind of uh, snake skin as the original's boots. Okay, and then looking at her shoes here, we just see that they look like thigh highs or even a little bit higher than thigh high boots, but they kind of do the same thing, the illusion where it's just like these leggings and then you cover them, cover the shoes underneath it. So we, as you can see here, these shoes look like, again, they're the same pattern as the original ones, the, like the pink snake skin. Oh, that's so cool, look at the back. Super, super, super cool. Just looking at this doll here, yeah. Her clothes, her outfit, everything together is probably my favorite. It's very much true to the, the original doll. Um, and it just, it's it's definitely all put together. It's my favorite look. This is a poster, but it looked like it was already opened. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, 
But it says make it dar make it sorry. But it says make it daring, make it dazzling. Wow, make it drama. Yeah, she looks good. Look at the the curls on those pigtails. I love her glasses too. Hmm, I wonder what glasses she's gonna get. But yeah, she came off the poster came so busted. So Oh my god, I just looked behind this. Guys, I just looked behind this. I feel so dumb. So here it kind of shows you of all of the dolls that you can get. Wow, I feel so dumb. All right, now let's now let's get into her pieces. All right, before we begin, I just want to take note that this doll, her um, articulation is just a lot easier to kind of like maneuver around than the other dolls. She did come up hella busted with scars. I don't know if you guys can really, really see that. She just looks super busted. But I also wanted to mention that she has like some dimples in the back of her of the doll, which is a similar to all the other dolls. Um, but yeah, she just came up super scratched. I don't know if it was just my batch. Yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the shirt first here. And it looks like a turtleneck. One side is a slong sleeve and the other one is not. And it's like this brown purple ish kind of color it definitely gives off more brown but because i feel like her doll is pink and with a little bits of purple it's giving purple but i can't tell yeah it's made out of this very stretchy material here so y'all just let me know what you think but i think this is such a cute piece this is how it fits on the doll look at that that is so adorable okay next we're gonna move on to the bodysuit i know i call this like a bikini with um, Royal B, but I think it is a bodysuit. And it has the same kind of fabric. I think it's from the same fabric, just different, obviously, prints or colors, where it looks like it's supposed to be sequined. I am assuming that they put something over it, over this uh, fabric with a pattern to make it look like there's like sequins on it. But you can see here that the, the pattern is snake skin we have a little bit hints of pink and purple all around it it is so beautiful and if you look closer we have like stitch detailing on the top the bathing suit here has these little open edges on the side it's a lot higher than the other wow wow do you guys see that it looks like this one this side is here let me zoom it in do you see how on this side there's like a little oh I can't move too much y'all. There is like a, this little silver spot. It's missing on this side but I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a belt buckle or something. And then it has like this circular clamp or I, I forgot what it's called but this little silver ring detail on both of them which I think is super cute. Like that is so awesome. Okay so this is the back of the bathing suit. It is stitched up but as you can see here we see some little jewels. So in the front I thought it was like a metal like statement piece to kind of look like a buckle but it looks like it's there's supposed to be like jewels coming all around this the straps of the one piece but it just appears like we lost them on the way but it's still a very cute concept. I definitely think that because of this pattern you can't really see it. I would have not have noticed it if I didn't turn this bathing suit around. I mean it's just extra detail. Just wanted to quickly show you how it looks on the doll. The top is a little bit uneven and as I was putting the straps on a lot of the little pieces fell off. So I would like to say it was kind of unnecessary because you can't really see it unless you look closely. But you know it is what it is. Mine has a little tear on the side here it's just because the stitching wasn't that well made I guess. Okay next let's go ahead and go over this skirt here. This skirt is beautiful again we have some black a black skirt with some leopard print on it and it's like a holographic or shiny leopard print and it's just a regular mini skirt but then we have some elo here some some silver uh, thread to kind of stitch it and make it look like little drawstrings we have some of the strings on the bottom here to kind of give that illusion of like a corset on each side of the skirt moving in the back is just um, velcro on the back so this does have like a little string here to help keep the skirt down and prevent it from rising up the skirt is supposed to naturally fall on the hips of the doll um, I think it's nice that we have like this black 
kind of hidden uh, leopard print because there is just, again, with her, there's just so much different prints to the point where it's clashing, but that's just kind of her thing. So I appreciate that even though the skirt is like supposed to be simple and like in the background, it'll just look like a basic black skirt compared to everything else she has. But looking closer, it also has the pattern. Does that make sense to y'all? Do you know what I'm talking about? Or am I just rambling? All right, so next I wanna focus on the boots or these like leg warmers, but basically boots. But I'm gonna put them on the doll just so it's easier for us to really kind of see how they look because I do have a hard time having these kind of focused on the camera. They fit all the way up her thigh here, um, almost reaching um, the hips. And then we have one that's been stitched um, to kind of bend and the other one has been put up. Um, it looks like the inside is all made out of this uh, pleather black material and then here we have this holographic material that is pink to kind of cover the rest of the leg. It's really, it's really like scrunched up here. I think it's to help make the doll bend a lot easier, um, which is really nice. I would be careful because it will trap the fabric there. But going down, we see here how they kind of helped with that illusion to make it a knee-high boot, but still make it easily accessible to take on and off by making by cutting them off at the end here. And these are way better than like we've seen with the LOL OMG. We see how it has a little piece up here and then some nice elastic. I do question the how long this last elastic will last, you know, like the longevity of this elastic, but for right now, I ain't too worried. It does look a little bit washed out at the bottom here. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, like this one right here looks a little bit more washed out than this. So I don't know, maybe it's just like the fabric and how much it was played with or stretched out. But yeah, it's very, very cute. I love how tight it is to the legs and really gives off that um, thigh kind of boot uh, illusion. Looking behind the the these Thigh, I don't know what to call them, like thigh, uh, thigh high pieces or thigh high fabric. We have kind of like a corset kind of um, detail or feature on the back of these shoes. I'm thinking like realistically, I guess it's used to help uh, tie in the pieces together. Like I'm assuming like these two pieces kind of like tighten so you can tighten the shoe in general. So I love that they gave kind of that again illusion that that's what it's for but it just gives us an extra detail for these shoes which is awesome. Like, like they really thought this through. I cannot even start to comprehend how well detailed these dolls are like that that is just amazing all right taking a look at these shoes they look pretty simple i kind of think from the front they're a little ugly because of the v kind of going down you're like uh they're whatever i guess you can't really see them because it's going to be covered anyways i guess that's what they did the v so it wouldn't look bulky okay it's kind of like they're paying homage to to the shoes from the original so you're like oh, okay i get it um and then you look at the side do you guys fucking see this this is crazy this is gives off like lady gaga energy do you guys fucking see this do you guys fucking see this that is fucking oh again another c-u-n-t-y moment because wow this is fucking fierce Yes, I get this line now. I totally understand it. So we see like this dramatic heel. We see like this spike on the bottom, how the heel kind of drags out and has this little spike. We see chains all around the back of these heels. That is, this is crazy, guys. Again, I think the front was mostly done to help with the, como se dice, the, the thigh high kind of feature. If it was just like regular shoes, that would have been awesome. Like if they get, kind of gave us something on the front, that'd be awesome. But I love, I just love, wow. That is psychotic. That is psychotic, these shoes. <laughs> All right, these are her nails. The hand, the hand mold is the same and everything, but her nails are this hot pink, um, which I think is the same as her regular nails. Before moving forward, I did just want to take note of the hand here. As you can see the little detail, how it's kind of like a triangle. It's kind of, it's kind of like a pointy, 
um, cuff here, which I think is really cool. And I totally forgot that she had this little extra piece here. When I first unboxed her, it was all the way up here. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't notice it. But then looking at her box art, it definitely falls near her hand because I saw the little arrow kind of... Um, here, I don't know if you guys can tell a little bit better this way. It, it just like kind of points down. So I was like, yeah, that has to be near her hand because we've been seeing it with the other dolls as well. Um, I love this little random mesh piece. I definitely think it get, adds a little bit more character and I do find it 100% necessary. I think, <laughs> I don't care what anybody else says, it's just an added like, oh yeah, she's all about the details, baby. All about the details and I, and I really love that. This harness here is fucking amazing. I love the pink harness um, belts. It's supposed to be like pleather or leather. It's pink leather, pleather, whatever you want it to be. And then it has silver buckles everywhere. And then these little uh, chains on the bottom, that on the top, that say Lady Diva. I think that is so cool. And how realistic and detailed they were, even to like the additional dangly buckles that we see on harnesses. I love this so much. The detail, and this is um, so crazy. They even have the little holes where like the holes for actual harnesses are supposed to be. Now, we always have an issue with this where it's not fully like, here, let me see. It's not even closed at all, which is so unfortunate. We need, we need something secure. So that's the only one thing I didn't like. This is as good as I'm gonna get this doll right now with this freaking um, harness. I don't know what's going on. This doll stand, these doll stands, guys, they're not it. But anyways, this is how it falls on her. I tried to put it a little bit higher, but with the waist hugger, it was just kind of clashing where it made it look uneven. Um, not really clashing, but it just made it look uneven. So I put it a little bit lower, and I think that's just what worked. But again, if we had like a hook in the back to really secure it so we wouldn't have to worry about how to place this, I think that would be awesome. Just because it's just so, it's such a struggle. And it's going to be an easy piece to lose if there's nothing really securing it to the doll. So in my opinion, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of very much needed piece like of course it's gonna be on there i love it i love it so fucking much i just wish it had better reinforcement to it which is more secure that's the only thing that's my only problem with it let's go ahead and cover this necklace here if i can zoom in a little bit better to it yep um it's just this big chunky necklace oh it looks like there's chains on top of it and like little metal danglies. Yeah, it just looks like it's supposed to be like this big neck piece with like chains all over it and like little dangly pieces. I don't really know what is going on. All I see is like little spikes and chains all around it. So I'm. it's just supposed to be like a chunky statement piece. Um, I don't really like it. I love the detail and I see like this is supposed to mean something but at the same time I just think it's too clanky or too chunky to really to really appreciate it for what it is. Looking at the box art I'm assuming this is what's supposed to be again like little spikes and just chains all over this big chunky statement piece but I'm assuming with you know the the mold and stuff they just try to do with what they could and I'm not gonna clock them on shit like that because at the end it does look like that but maybe it would have been silver why didn't you just make it silver with like little pink details you know what I mean I don't know I don't know what to say love I'm just gonna quickly show you a small detail of these um the ring earrings because we already kind of went over them but just like a closer look at these pieces pretty cute so let's go ahead and go over this scarf here again I forgot what it's called oh sorry I think it's like a booyah, booah or something like that. Girl, please help me, okay? I don't know. But unlike the original doll here, her, the fur, the furry pink was supposed to be a jacket, or is a jacket. Well, in this case here, it's more of a scarf. Putting it on her here. It's a little bit more softer than, than the original jacket, not gonna lie. It's just a lot more 
fluffier and not as shaggy as the jacket from the previous one and it's really nice i do think that is very bulky on her like it's just very very bulky but at the same time i love that it's there you know what i mean it does feel like it covers a lot of like the really cute pieces that she has but girl at the same time it's chilly it's chilly it's cold outside it's snowing right now she wearing like a little mini skirt she wearing these things up in here she needs to be covered i said frio and she's ready all right let's take a quick look at this little purse here oh it looks like i'm doing it the other way this is crazy do you see the handle it says lolmg in like old gothic lettering <sighs> shit this is fucking sexy bro i don't care i don't care does she open uh, i don't know I had to push it, but it opens like this. So if you're ever wondering how it opens, it opens where it says LOLMG in the back, okay? And that's how it opens. This bag is so cute. It is a little smaller for my opinion, for my taste, but I love, I love it because she got so much going on, you know? So I love this little, this little small pink bag and it just kind of gives a, <laughs> like a little uh, hint to her shoes and just her overall original doll. All right, y'all, last thing to kind of go over here, her, I don't know, her surprise accessory. It's covered in this really cute pink leopard pattern here. And these, these are it. Just like in the art or the box art, there are these like kind of see-through hollow, I don't fucking know, like beaded. I think they're supposed to be like dangly. If you look at her box art, it's supposed to be like little danglies, right? I'm assuming that's what these little, the texture circles are supposed to be. They're supposed to be like little strings or tassels of diamonds or what, jewels or whatever. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, everyone. Here she is. LOL OMG Fierce Lady Diva right next to the original OMG one. Wow. Wow. She is so beautiful. Guys, she might actually be my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Um, my overall opinions on her is she is everything. I love her hair. I love the pigtails. I like how there's four pigtails. I love every accessory she has. Um, I feel like all of her pieces kind of go together. They're very much honoring the original doll with like the leopard and the snake skin and like the pink. I feel like they did her very much justice. And we have some pieces that are just modified or even just a little bit more better, like the harness, right? like the the thigh high boots like the shirt i just think they look so adorable like even the headset right the this the this little thing that she's singing through it's a little bit more elevated a little bit more updated even the smallest details help really bring the doll together to make it very cohesive and make it very much like this to me this is very much a lady diva doll like it looks so fucking good she looks great. I love her. There's really nothing negative. Hmm. Let me take that back. The only negative thing I think I have to say is probably two negative things. Again, it's a necklace. I feel like it should have been silver um, with a little bit of pink details. And then a really, really big one is just like the unsecureness of the harness that is just like flopping over. We thought they would learn from this one. Like there was so many negative reviews or like opinions on how this was just so easy to fall and get lost and it's a really pretty piece right diva we love that it's one of her very iconic pieces so the fact that they did the same thing here i feel like they were just they're like yeah let's do it let's get people mad i felt like that's how it was <laughs> um out of all of that i think every piece that she has is just so beautiful so beautiful here we have the dolls all four of them from this first series from this first omg fierce uh line um, we have the first series one all of them here present unboxed with all of their accessories everything put together and my overall thoughts on these dolls is that first of all quality the quality the detail in these dolls babe it's fucking i can't even comprehend it okay these dolls crushed it it's something that we would expect. I'm just like, huh? It's something that we would expect already from OMG 
to have such intricate details and define each little piece of clothing that they have. We've seen such a high standard in OMG dolls. Seeing these dolls today, it just kind of elevated that expectation, okay? Like, we can see what MGA is capable of in terms of detail, in terms of quality, in terms of really exquisite and fine detail pieces. Like, there's so much detail in the smallest things in each of these pieces, like, if each of these dolls, like, it's tremendo how how crazy detailed these dolls are. It's the quality is there. The details is there. It's just like a whole new standard that I'm just like, wow. Wow, I can't I will never have this kind of quality compared to other dolls. Or it might be, okay, this is the set standard now. You see how good you can get. I expect that for more to come. Maybe it's just for these dolls alone, and that's why it just has a heavy or a high price point then um then okay then okay i feel for the detail and the quality and each piece that each doll has i feel like the 30 something dollar quality is there and i feel like that it's such a steal that i got these and other people got these for 15 dollars on sale half more than half off y'all there was just some some things here and there with just quality control that's something that we can't control when things are produced in masses but outside of that these things these dolls these dolls not these things the, the clothes and everything is just so beautiful i love it some critiques in my opinion the bodies sucked ass like they're just so stiff there's a lot of damage in some of these dolls a lot of scratches they're very wobbly um they don't hold really well to the doll stands and the huggers um, and just finding really good faces for these was a struggle. I had to look to, I had to look through so many dolls. I think one of the main issues really here is the winged liner on these dolls because, um, it is sharp on some of them, but in a lot of these the screens, the liner is just off <laughs> sometimes. Um, so that was really hard. The fact that all of these dolls that I got had really stiff joints and the fact that a lot of these had issues holding up straight to with a doll stand really was just like fuck dude it was just so frustrating the whole time trying to record and review these dolls because they just kept falling. If I were to rank them by the one that I love the most, the one that's just like I still love, I love all of these dolls. It's not like I hate one doll, I definitely love all of them but if I were to rank them with what, who I love the more. It would definitely be like this. Lady Diva, Neonlicious, Royal B, and finally Swag or Sway. <laughs> All of it together, Lady Diva killed it for me. Neonlicious is just amazing. Like, I, she is such an underrated doll. At least for me, I didn't think she was gonna be as cool as she was as I, I like, as I expected. But she's definitely the fucking goat and I love her so much. Then it's Royal B. Um, I love all her pieces individually and her face is very beautiful. Like I love all her accessories. Her accessories are fucking amazing. But just all together is not my favorite. Does she look good? Yes. Does she kind of represent her doll with all of the outfits? Yes. But to me, I just don't like it. And then lastly, Swag. I feel like Swag, she's very beautiful. Like, I feel like Swag would be third if if Royal B didn't have such a fucking beautiful face. Like, if we're not considering faces, it would be like this because Swag is just... All of these pieces are just so fucking beautiful. If we're talking about face, though... Hold on, if we're talking about just face, it would be... Oh, if we're just talking about face... Uh, Lady Diva would be definitely last because she's boring. Like, it would probably be like this. If we're talking about face card, the face card, bro, then I would rearrange it like this because Royal B has the best face, in my opinion. Then Swag, the blue with the red lips and the green eyes, gorgeous. And then Neonlicious is just, there's just so much going on and I love the catch lights, beautiful. The eyebrows are like, uh. And then lastly would be Lady Diva. Nothing wrong with her. It's just boring. It's just boring compared to all the other dolls. She just has the most boring, safe 
look. All right, but yeah, that's my take on these dolls, y'all. Thank you so much for being patient with me and joining me through this whole journey of unboxing these dolls. I'm so excited for the next ones to come out. Please subscribe and like and all that stuff and join me as I unbox and just talk more about doll content. I have so many dolls to unbox and so many projects that I'm thinking about sharing with everybody here. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Until next time, bye.